a sweet cocktail tomato. I've never seen those before. All right guys, it is Friday. I'm not sure what time it is. We just got back from town. We had to go to Lowe's to pick up some stuff because today we are painting our shed. Um, we have 30 days from when they put it in to paint it. And so we're gonna get that done this weekend. It should be done by the end of the day. And then as always, every time when we go to Lowe's, we bought stuff that wasn't on the list. So let me show you what else I got. So if you watched my yard sailing video, you saw that we picked up these like metal baskets that we're gonna hang on the side of the shed. So we bought these liners, they're a little big, so we'll cut them to fit. And then I picked out some plants. They had 50% off their annuals. They didn't have a huge selection. I wish I could have got a different variety, um, but this is what I picked up. So, and then, oh, I also got some plant food spikes for my indoor plants. But that's what I picked out, and then Michael picked out a few other things. Okay, Michael and the kids are outside. They're getting everything started. And really quick before I head out and help them, I need to get this pasta salad started for tonight's dinner so that it has time to kind of like marinate with the sauces. Um, so after I do that, I also need to do the dishes. But let me show you guys what I'm gonna put in the pasta salad. All right, this is gonna be kind of a wonky pasta salad just because it was kind of a last minute decision. I was gonna make mac salad and then decided pasta salad sounded a little better. So. I have my noodles, olives. Normally I would use cherry tomatoes, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna uh, dice up some tomatoes. Um, pepperoncinis, salami. Normally I would cube up some cheese, but I don't have any lactose-free uh, brick cheese, so I'm just gonna sprinkle in some mozzarella. And then for the sauce, I just use Zesty Italian. Super simple. Even though it's not how I would normally make it, it's still gonna be delicious. I have my noodles cooked. I cut up almost a whole can of olives, two tomatoes, some salami. I decided to add some cucumbers from the garden and then the peppers. Um, so I'm gonna add everything to this and then pour over the zesty Italian dressing and then stir it all up. All right, the pasta salad is done. And like I said, I would normally add like diced brick cheese. I thought about adding the shredded cheese, but I think, I think I'm not gonna do that. So. The pasta salad's done. I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge. And then before we eat, we might need to add more dressing. I've already used over half the, half the bottle, um, but it kind of soaks up that juice. So we might add more a little bit later. Right, little update it's three o'clock it's super hot outside we're dying a little bit Michael is going to start working on the white trim and I'm gonna do roll the second coat of blue and hopefully we will be done tonight I just opened the front door so that I could put these swatches out and I saw that we got some packages I did order some stuff um, yesterday off of Amazon for school so maybe I'll do like a um, like a haul of like what I've bought for school so far since it's our second year and I kind of feel like I know what I'm doing a bit more okay here are the swatches next to the color of our house our house is like a softer blue and this is the original color that we chose for the door but I don't like it. I think I'm going to do a red. This looks too orange and this too, looks too purple. I think it's between these two. I kind of like this just like red barn color. So I'll leave these up for a bit and decide. All right, so it's four o'clock right now and it's hot out. It's, I think it's like 84, 85, which isn't that hot, but when you're standing in the sun and the, like the heat is radiating off the building, it's a lot. So I don't do good in the heat. As you can see, I'm still super red and I've been inside for like 10 minutes now. Um, 
Michael's a little worried about me. So he's having me take a break inside and he put together a homemade barbecue sauce and my job is to stir it till it gets kind of bubbly and then I'm gonna turn the temperature down and put a lid on. So let me show you guys what it looks like. All right, here's the sauce. It's starting to bubble a little bit. I'm gonna keep stirring it and let it bubble for a bit. And then, like I said, crank that heat way down and put the lid on. I just realized I never told you guys what we were making for dinner tonight. We had a pork shoulder that was in the uh, chest freezer. And so I pulled that out and Michael like, put a rub on it and he has it smoking right now. It's out on the barbecuer. And so he's making this barbecue sauce for that pulled pork so that we can have pulled pork sandwiches with slaw and that pasta salad that I made. So next time that he opens it up to check on it, I'll try to get a really quick clip of what it looks like. Okay guys, it's a little after five and we're done for the day. We, the only thing we have left is to do the trim. We primed it. We started priming right here on the door, but that part was already primed. So we stopped doing that and we primed the rest of the trim. And then tomorrow we are going to paint it white. So we're hoping to get an earlier start tomorrow, hopefully be out here by 8 a.m. so that we don't have to work in this heat. So now we're gonna clean up a little bit. I'm gonna spend some time in the garden. My tomatoes need a little love and some water and so do a couple other plants and then we're gonna eat here in about an hour hour and a half and then we promised the kids that we would take them to do something fun and i have no idea what we're gonna do so it might be something like going to go get an ice cream cone so that's the game plan for right now All right, we are heading to Dairy Queen to pick up a little treat. We brought Harlow, come here. Come here. We br we're bringing Harlow. She likes the car, Finn doesn't like the car. So we're just waiting for Michael and we're gonna swing by the drive-thru and get something tasty. All right guys, Michael just ran into the store to pick up some ice cream for me. I'm not very good at eating and driving, so I didn't get anything at Dairy Queen. Um, I think after that, we're just gonna head home and kind of relax for the evening. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to say thank you guys for tagging along today and I'll see you on the next one.